Hello guys, welcome to Digital Dex. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect your smartphone to your DSLR and use it as an external display. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. I upload awesome tutorials and reviews on this channel. I know it has been a while I haven't uploaded. Very sorry about that. Today, the outfit is different. This is a tradition. Thank God it's Friday. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, as I said, make sure you do. Without too much further ado, let's get started with the main point of this video. I'm using my phone as you can see it's the Nokia 5.3 Android device I'm using it as a live view to my device here which doesn't have any swivel or tilt screen so you can also control focus from here which is really nice so let me show you guys how but please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so let's get started let's rewind everything from the start Okay, so basically you're going to need two cables for this, which is a USB to OTG converter right here. As you can see, I have this USB to OTG converter with two heads, USB B and USB Type C to OTG converter right here. So you'll need the data cable for your Canon camera or Nikon. So this is the data cable for my Canon 100D. Okay, this is the data cable here, the cable that you use to connect to computer and obviously you're going to need your camera, <laughs> battery, SD card or slot in and then you connect this right here, the AV out digital. So you connect it, after connecting it you'll now have to download these applications here you'll have to download camera connect and control which is very very good in um, saving or downloading images from your direct from your Canon camera or Nikon so it works with USB connection also not just wireless and uh, the next application is Canon camera control app by Canon but the downside to this application is that it doesn't use USB um, connection mode so only Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so which is sad because my camera doesn't support that uh, so I'm not going to use this today then the next application which is my favorite is the Q DSLR dash which is this so Q DSLR dash as you can see it has a really nice interface and landscape full screen everything is here so just connect it to our phone so we've already connected this to our camera you connect this male to female then you connect to your phone depending on the usb port Nokia 5.3 uses usb type c port so you connect it so it's now connected our camera is now connected to our phone to usb device sorry to usb cable so let's um, okay so everything can come out then you open the application for camera connection control you open you turn on your camera you select the mode of connection this is usb connection you hit ok it's connected and here are all the images and um, videos on my device which i can just save directly to my phone so i just select an image hit on this download button it's going to download it straight to my phone as you can see downloaded yes it has downloaded we go to the next one you just hit download it's going to download and get saved to your device so you cannot use this as a live view because you'll have to purchase a license first so it's not free but the other application is free so this is just great in saving stuff that you have on your device so the next application which is the QDSLR dash here right here is really amazing and nice very very easy to connect so you just turn off your camera once again while connected and the app opened then you turn on 
your device and you select the connection mode from here this is usb this is nikon wireless this is canon wireless this is sony wireless so we tap on usb right here so it's going to search for connected devices so as you can see it has connected to our camera right here but it's not in live view mode this is the live view mode button so if i'm to tap on this button so as you can see i can now use my smartphone as a live view for this digital camera which has no swivel so as you can see it's black and as i move it okay you can adjust focus from your android app also you can also take pictures and record videos from here and you can also toggle Okay, she can see the focus, the focus well, or the focus. The focus is you can snap picture, you can change shutter speed. You can change the ISO, and you can change the F number also from here. So this is really great. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. Please, please, please. It really helps my channel grow. I love you guys so much. And um, also, just to recommend some stuff that will make this cool or more cool, you might need this to be attached like this and then your phone connected like this. But then the only downside is that this is... Um, you cannot twist it so it'll just be there same as this just that bigger so you might need this you grip or any grip that you have you mount your camera on like this and then you using this mount converter right here which is attached to this phone holder so you just connect your camera right here like this sorry right here like this and then you then connect you then attach it so you attach it there's actually no time to screw my camera and so on and so forth but you get the idea something like this and your camera right here like this uh, which is cool please please subscribe to my channel if you haven't i'm going to attach the link to buy most of this stuff here under the description of this video and the application the links will be there also and if there are any options for ios devices i will also include it in the description of this video please make sure you share like and subscribe please make sure you share like and subscribe please make sure you share like and subscribe i just baked three times it really means a lot to me i love you guys so much do have a nice day